next reveal I'm gonna do for you guys is gonna be the House of Terror Vans collaboration, which recently uh, happened this, 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 this year. So this is a new collab for them, and I believe it's about six or maybe seven different kinds of Vans to drop for the collaboration. The pair I'm gonna to review today come, comes in this uh, mostly black with the blood splatter on the box. This is the House of Terror box, and this is the It pair. This also a pair from the movie The Shining. Um, most of the pairs for the Vans collaboration for the House of Terror are based off of 80s movies. So you have It, the pair I'm gonna to do today. You have The Shining, The Exorcism, um, the Lost Boys, I don't know a lot about that movie, but the pair was like Creepers pair, I believe. They look really good, so I actually like that pair a lot too. And um, I think that's almost it. I might be missing one movie, but... Oh, Friday the 13th, and there's also a Freddy Krueger pair. The Freddy Krueger pair, I want to say, is probably the best pair, but the sizes I need sold out right away, so I couldn't get that pair. So I was forced to get the second best pair, in my opinion, which was the Vans, the It pair. Let's get the review so, started. Let's get right to the so like I said, we already went over the box, which is pretty simple. House of Terror, Blood Splatter, mostly black. So like I said, I got the It pair. The best thing I like about this shoe is that they put Yo Float 2 right on the side. I always write on my Vans because it's just a habit I have. It's a bad habit, but I love to do it, so. But they did it, so I now I know that it's official. Yo Float 2. That's really cool to me, the fact that they put writing on the side of the Vans, but let's not forget that in the movie, the line, you'll float too, is a reference to um, dead children that float in a sewer who were killed by the killer clown, It. You don't really see It anywhere on the shoe except for the sole, and it's very, it's very subtle, but I like it a lot because it, it just brings it back. And I feel like the original movie was a lot scarier than the remake, let me know below the comments if you agree with me or if you disagree. But like I said, when I was a kid and I saw the original movie, CGI wasn't a big thing, but it, it scared me. I was really scared of it, the killer clown. And I'm not as scared of clowns, but just that particular clown. So one thing I really didn't notice about the shoe until I got it today was that they have the Losers Club written all over the front of the shoe. Well, specifically just the left shoe, because if you look at the right shoe, you won't see that, you'll just see the balloons. The balloons are a reference to, back to the movie, um, I believe there's a red balloon and it shows up in front of one of the character's face. And when they pop the balloon, or when the balloon actually gets, it floats up and then it pops by itself, blood comes out of the balloon and it splatters all over their face. And it's a very scary movie. It's a very scary moment in the movie. So I like that a lot. I feel like the shoe shift came with a second pair of laces. Uh, which could have matched the balloons, but only came with one pair of laces and they're just white. So I would recommend copping that red pair if you can get a pair to match the balloons because I think it would just be dope to switch your laces up. Just That's just me, but you know, sometimes they go the cheap route. So like I said, on the inside of the sole, it's just the same thing, a picture of it. But unlike the left pair, the right pair doesn't have the writing on the shoe that says the Losers Club, it's just the balloons. And the balloons float. And they signify the fact that you will float. And that you'll float is a reference to, once again, the children who are found in the sewer who were killed by it. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty scary in a way. You know, subtle, but I think it works for me. This is a classic silhouette, just the checkers. And it's pretty basic, just white and black. But the balloons and the fact that they put the, the writing on the side of the shoe, I like a lot. And yeah, that's just it. Like Vans, they do. I think I think Vans does a really good job with the collaborations. Um, I believe with this collab, which is called the House of Horrors, there was about six different pairs. You have a pair from the movie The Shining, The Exorcism, um, The Gremlins, but that's not really a part of this. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth, Freddy Krueger, and um, there's one more I'm forgetting, but. Um, the Freddy Krueger pair is definitely probably the best pair because I don't know if you guys might not know but Nike also did a Freddy Krueger pair of SB Dunks and it's a very it's a very rare pair of Dunks they're very coveted so if you've seen those Dunks you know they're very they're really nice and the Vans almost kind of copied that except for because the, the Dunks are based off Freddy Krueger's sweater and so are the Vans but there's like little differences but I think still they, they almost 
ripped off Nike in a good way because it's, it's a fire shoe. So I wish I could have got that pair, but my size was sold out. And I feel like this is the second best pair. I didn't realize till just now that like the inside lining is kind of white leather. So might not get as dirty as, as it would have been if it wasn't leather right there. Besides that though, I mean, it's, it's very basic. I feel like they could have gave it a little bit more of a touch of the clown, but the fact that they put them on the sole and they had the balloons and they put the signature line on the side of the shoe almost nails all of the points. And just go back and watch the movie if you guys haven't already. Like I said, I think the original was way scarier than the remake. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree. Either way, I'm happy. I got the shoe and I like them a lot. Um, there was a yellow hoodie which dropped with the shoe and all it, the hoodie says is your flow too. I feel like the hoodie would have been dope to get with the shoes, but the hoodie was like $80 and I really didn't want to spend that much money on the hoodie knowing I pay less for the shoes. I did get a pair of socks to go with the shoes and here they go right here. I would definitely recommend getting these socks. They're very plain, just white and black, but they do have an actual picture of its face on them. And like I said, the original movie was, wasn't was a lot of CGI or nothing crazy like that, but it did some very simple things that were scary, and I think that's what Stephen King is most known for. So I feel like these socks on top of these shoes, and bam, it's a perfect match. I'm going to try these on with I'm going to try these on for you, and let's see how it goes, guys. I put them on with the exclusive socks I got, which was a part of the uh, House of Terror drop. That's it right there, the killer clown. If you look at the other side of the socks, it just says it, very simple. Like I said, this is a basic checkerboard colorway, but I feel like the low top vans, they can go with anything. Wherever you're wearing sweatpants, are you wearing jeans? These are just easier to put on than the high tops. So low top is definitely a go in my opinion. And if it's a classic silhouette, like a checkerboard, I feel like you can't go wrong. I like a lot that they put the balloons on the one side, and like I said, they put in writing the Losers Club on the other side, and they also have a, full, a few balloons too, so you get the same effect. I think it would have been really dope if they, instead of just putting vans on the hill tab, they kind of put it or something like a scary message would have been dope. Um, maybe glow in the dark, because that seems to go a lot with uh, Halloween themed shoes. Definitely break these bad boys out for Halloween. I feel like you're gonna just be the flyest person in the room. Hate to say that, but that's just the way I feel. <laughs> so yeah. Um, one thing I would recommend doing is putting the uh, rubber heel tabs on the back of the shoe to stop the heel drag. When you wear your Vans a lot and you don't have a tab like this at the bottom of them, which will happen, what, what, what will happen is that the um, one side of the heel will be very uneven due to, due to just constant wearing and dragging. But when you put the tab there, it keeps it in place and it doesn't happen. So I always put the tabs on the bottom of my Vans. They're about two fifty per shoe, so five dollars for for a pair of shoes, and it'll just it'll it'll save the life of the shoes because once that back of the heel wears down to a certain point, the Vans, in my opinion, become unwearable. So yeah, just putting the heel tabs on the back will stop that. I have no complaints. Like for a pair of Vans, only pay sixty five dollars retail. This is a great pair of shoes, and in the theme of Halloween, it's the perfect time to rock these. So, yeah, I didn't get the hoodie to go with the shoes. Like I said, it costs way too much, but you can always just buy a yellow hoodie yourself, and you'll get the same Georgie Porgy look, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but yeah, it just goes with the shoes. So, thanks for coming back, guys. Stay lit, stay safe. I'll see you next time. My name is Jay Cole. Cole World. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming.